They had Jimmy's truck towed up here. Jimmy got into a little accident the other day. The truck has officially been totaled, so this will be the last time that it's on the channel, but it's the only time I've been able to see the damage. Front ends tore up. Oh yeah, that's rough. Dang, Jimmy. Yeah, look, you see the, the curve of the cross member? The front here on the driver's side is like pushed in a little bit. RIP to Forgiato Jimmy. It's gonna be next week, the week after, Jimmy. Well, that's, if that's what it is, that's fine. I told you. What are you doing over here? Putting it together. Are we building a new truck? Yeah. Ooh, that new new, huh? That new new right before Christmas, too. Is this your Christmas present to yourself? Yeah. Merry mother Merry Christmas, then, huh? Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> What'd you get me for Christmas, Jimmy? These What'd you get me for Christmas? Got you a lift kit install. Oh, really? I'm gonna talk Leonard into making sure it gets done in t before two weeks. Is that uh, I mean, I gotta pay for it. Uh, I mean, that's a Jake decision right there. We just handled the install. I'm gonna need y'all to ignore the hair for a couple of days because we're we're growing the mullet back out. All right, got my boy Steph to clean me up. We're growing the mullet back out, Jimmy. Jimmy wrecked. It. How long has it been since you wrecked your truck? Five months? Like six, six months? months? Yeah, six months. It's been about six months. I'm gonna drop a clip so y'all can see what the truck looked like afterwards. But we're rebuilding the truck now. We got a new truck, no, new lift nothing, kit, bro. new Crash, wheels. Dude. We're building the... Jimmy's truck's been an icon on the channel for a long time. And we're doing the rebuild. And it starts next week. Monday. Monday, Tuesday, something. Sometime next week. It'll seem like the snap of a finger on YouTube, obviously, but we're starting next week. Jim Jam came through on a Saturday to start assembling some of the accent pieces on the lift kit. So we're going nine inch McGoy's body lift, 2616s. You still got the Versa tires or are we going 40s? You on 40s now, Nittos? Yeah. Nittos, yeah, 2616s and 40s. Forgiato Jimmy's about to be back outside. Ooh, that McGoy's kit with the orange. So he had the orange accent pieces on the inside last time. And we're doing the J Ford this time. The accent pieces on the outside. About to be on them. Do we even pay for still? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing. V6? Four cylinder. Trash. Come on, Jimmy. It's install day for Jim Jam. Listen to that thing squeaking already. It's squeaking already. Oh, All right. Look at Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, shit, Jimmy. It'll ro it'll roast the tires, Jimmy. Utah lurch looking mother. It's install day for Jimmy. Jimmy's getting the nine inch McGoy's lift. Bro, Jimmy. Three inch body lift, 2616s and 40s. Truck out, dude. Brand new truck and it's. Oh, he's got wheel lights in there. Yeah. Oh, it's the wheel lights off of the old truck. Jimmy, I'm excited to be rebuilding the truck for you. Well, not me, but them. I should have an update on the engine for the silver truck this week, too. Oh! What are we doing here? What are you talking about? Like we never stop. Yeah. No, Jimmy. What is this, bro? No. I, I forgot the truck was wrecked. That's the spare then, huh? Yeah. Gotta be the spare. Hey, we, we gonna act like it ain't there. Hey, you know the spare when he ain't clean the back of them. He probably didn't clean the back of any of them. Come on, Jimmy. We gotta hold you accountable now. He did, he did. I We're gonna have to get you right, Jimmy. Hey, but look at this thing, though. Out here shitting on him with the 405s. It's a money day up here, isn't it? We got a Tahoe up here that's getting some 26 by 16 Amanis with the 35 1550s. So I don't know which video is going to drop first, but y'all need to go check that video out too. The Tahoe's over there on the lift, and it's getting these 26 by 16. So y'all need to go check out that video if you haven't already. 
Chauncey done pulled up on us with the 14 to 18 GMC, 26 by 16s, 405s. Gotta have the McGoys kit on just about every one of them that we do, because McGoys is the way to go on these trucks for sure. And the 26 by 16s and the 405s is just that look. It really is. I might have to switch to the 405s at some point. But that, that brake gang sticker on there hitting something serious, isn't it? It's a good day to have a good day. It's a good day to be cold as hell yep. and get some bread, baby. It's cold. Jake ain't in the mood for it today. I'm more of like a summertime kind of guy. We need to get that energy up a little bit. Chauncey's out here. Says, ah. These are the 26 by 16 Forgiatos going on Jimmy's truck, which is that one that Jonathan's working on. These 2616s were on his truck originally. Gotta have the 40 inch Nittos. Best tire that you could put on there. I have no idea. I'm assuming that's from the wreck. I said I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I kinda have to talk about it because it's obvious. But I don't know what the deal is here. Maybe he's got a ex crazy ex-girlfriend or something. I don't know. But hopefully, I would assume that one's gonna be the spare because he's got five of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, five total. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So I'm assuming that one's gonna be the spare. What you know about that two ply, baby? What you know about that two ply? That's that John Wayne toilet paper. Bro, I go to some shops and they have that like half ply toilet paper, like. You know why they call it John Wayne? Why? Tough as hell and don't take Tough off as hell, it. don't, yeah. You're sitting there like, you know, wiping a damn brown sharp. Anyway. <laughs> we, got a, we got a set of wheels to open up for you. Know what you're, you know what you're opening? 2814 JTX, I know that. It's the first uh, set of Platinums. First set of platinum. Yeah, it's a big center cap, no lugs. Big center cap, no lug, 2814 platinum JTX. Woo! Holy shit. From the A, baby! That looks fire, though. That does actually look really good. That's cool. Yeah, that, look, that really does look good. Going on 2015 F250. From the A, baby. 2024. 2024, sorry. I thought you just said 2015. Oh, sorry. No, I said 24. 24 F250. Straight from the A, baby. That's cool. 28 by 14. Damn, that does look good. JTX. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. John comes to me up front and says, I need an Adelie for Jimmy's truck. Hey, where's Adelie? And I see it on the shelf right now, John. Where? Watch this not be the right part, and I'm gonna look like the jackass here. Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm 99% sure that's it. Right there, nope. Oh, maybe not. I might be wrong. This feels a little bit heavier than a... Uh... Yeah, that's it, right there. Right there! Take my job. Two seconds! I'm normally the idiot here, just to clarify. What you got? Something cool? You got everything cool coming in today. If it fits, it ships, huh? Huh. That is, that is a look, Jimmy. That's the best your truck is ever gonna look right there, Jimmy. Stock wheels, spacers, the best it's gonna look, Jimmy. I'm just I'm just messing with you. I love you, Jimmy. The lift kit's done. Nine inches done. I think they did put a little small level. Damn air thing. A little small leveling kit on the bottom. So it'll be what nine inch, one inch plus the body lift. So it'll sit about 13 on 40s. So like I said, we gotta wait a little bit. We got a bunch of builds going on this week, so there's two separate videos that Obviously, one video is going to have a bunch of one. One video is going to have a bunch of two. The other video has got this Tahoe in it right here. We got to finish this up because we have a six inch coming in tomorrow. Bro, get out of my ass, bro. Bro, you got cupcakes back there. You sound like Jordan. Cupcakes. John's just mad because he didn't get chicken run today for lunch. Anyway, body lift's going to start in a couple of days because John's going to take three days to do the F450 that's coming in tomorrow. Yeah. So. 
We gotta make room, huh? Uh, uh. We started on Jimmy's body lift today. So it's getting the three inch body lift on top of the nine inch McGoy's kit. And that one will get finished up today. And then we're starting on this 14 to 18. This one's getting a seven inch McGoy's today as well. So we got two McGoy's kits going on at the same time, which is always cool to have multiple McGoy's kits in here. And then we got a Chrome FTS that we're doing some front end work on over here. This is a different video, six inch striker going on this one with some 26 inch JTX wheels. But obviously having the two McGoy's in the same video will be really cool. So I'm assuming this video is already out. If it is, make sure you guys go check that video out because we did a Tahoe on a McGoy's kit and then that striker kit, which is uh, gonna be really nice on that truck. Jim Jam's truck out here. So we've got the nine inch lift on it and we got the three inch body lift on it with the stocks, baby. 100% the easiest one to deal with here. <laughs> is it 24? No. What year is this? 22. 22. It's the first one we've done with a six inch. First one at the shop, 2022. Not the first one at the shop, first one we listed. First one that we've lifted at the shop. It's getting a big lift. It's getting a big lift. The big lift. The biggest lift. Rough country, rough ride. Not really. I like rough country. Rough country makes a six inch lift. There's plenty of people that have done these lifts before. It's our first six inch rough country lift on the 22 body style Yukon. We're deleting the Magna Ride or Adaptive Ride Control. Got a light out kit, getting some 24s. What? Sold by yours truly. Sold by yours truly. Leonard, Leonard ordered all the wrong parts for it. 100% he did. And it overnighted them. <laughs> and overnighted all of them wrong. I'm excited to see this one done though. I've always been skeptical about people putting big lift kits on these because I never thought they looked good. I'm not going to lie. So today is uh, today's day. Today will be the first. Comes with 22s. I do like the front end on these though, but it just looks weird on a Yukon or Tahoe body to me. So this will be our first one. Six inch lift, 24s and 33s. truck they're putting the wheels and tires on it it's way too cold this morning for us to be working but it is what it is 26 by 16s and 40s getting bolted on what is now like a third 14 13 14 inch lift bro let's get this energy up today baby let's get this energy up baby bro stop throwing shit oh crap <laughs> Did you just hit me with a ketchup packet? was cleaning and just drilled my head into the two post lift that was right at eye level and just yeah it was one of those stopped and I looked at Brandon and I knew that it hurt really bad and you got to just eat it and keep it moving so we laughed it off but my head definitely hurts right now I want to show some love to my guy that came through and got the McGoy's kit they stayed late and finished this one the other night we had this one done and about 24 hours, 30 hours, something like that. But anybody, especially fans of the channel and people that get McGoy's kits, obviously, are always gonna get love on the channel. So I wanted to show some love to my guy, 2014 to 18 GMC 1500, and we did the silver 
McGoy's kit on that one under there. I've always, I'm always going to have a special love for the silver McGoy's kit on the channel because it was what started my truck first. Kept the stock wheels with some spacers and some 35s. Clean build. You don't have to have something big, crazy, and expensive to have a nice truck. So shout out to my guy for coming through and getting the McGoy's kit from us. We love you. Let's get this bread, baby. Drinking and driving. Day number two. I finished up the front of the truck last night. I really hope it stays at this height because that's almost like a seven inch lift. We'll probably have to drop it a little bit, but having the 2412s and 35s on the eye, this looks a lot better than I thought it would, I'm not gonna lie. I really wish that they would put this front end on the Denali 1500s. I don't know why they didn't. And I think this is gonna look a lot better than I thought it would. Wanting to do AC Delco work? No, I'm saying the the, the fuel pump itself. You did do one. The oh no, no, yeah. I didn't. no. So, are you having a good time? You look good on camera, Doug. May cause issues, may not. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. But I was supposed to have my engine back today, but um, long story short, getting the wrong part. So. I'm gonna pick them up from John Thornton Saturday, take them to him Tuesday, and then I'll probably have the engine back end of the day Wednesday. Tuesday? Oh yeah, down there on the right off 16. I think so. I've never been over there, but Leonard dropped the stuff off for me. <laughs> so. For old time's sake. I got two for you and two for me. That's loud. That's loud. That's very loud. What else loud? What's loud? These nuts. These nuts. <laughs> Watch out, he'll run you over. Can we move this Ranger or what? <laughs> I thought you were handing it to me. <laughs> Jimmy! What's up? We finished up Jimmy's truck today. We got two cool trucks to show you at the end of the video today, and we're going to start with the cooler of the two. Jimmy's truck. Jimmy's truck is five. Well, you got more that you're doing to it, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. Traction bars, some other stuff, right? Yeah, the bumper's got to go black and a whole bunch of shit. I think he, no, I don't want to say too much. He's wrapping the top, I think, some other stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I ain't seen Chauncey up here in a hot minute, other than like a couple days ago when he dropped the wheels off. Actually, I'm an idiot. Um, for that, it's been a while. Chauncey's got the 2616s, McGoy's kit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> got that hair flowing, like son. Stand in front of me. Uh, what year is this box over here? 21. 21. 2021. Chevy 1500. It's got the, the V6 in it or the four cylinder or something like that, doesn't it? Is no, it really it's a 5.3 or not? 5.3. It is a 5.3. So on this one, we did the we did the nine inch McGoy's. Obviously, it's just like a staple of the shop. We gotta do the nine inch McGoy's. And we did the three inch body lift on top. So we got 26, 16s, 40s. So it's sitting, did we do an inch or inch and a half leveling kit? Two inch. Oh, word? So we got nine inch, two inch leveling kit on top, 11, three inch body lift, 14 on 40s. So 14 inch lift on 40s. So where you at FTS with that 12 inch crap? I'm just kidding. I don't know if Mark watches my videos. If, if for whatever reason, if he does, Mark, I love you. He told me he didn't um, like you. Yeah, Mark don't really ever mess with me. Um, 2616 Ford Giotto for the life of me. I don't remember the name of the Gamby. Suit. The Gamby with the floating center caps. Got to have the floating center caps. Love this wheel. If you're not running Nittos, you got your life all wrong. You know Nittos. Man. You literally just did a I, podcast I, with Fury. I, I know. I like Fury, too. I like the guys at Fury. Shout out Andy and Nick. <laughs> Fury's got the total tire protection, too, that they're doing on all their tires right now, too. So shout out to Fury. Nittos the best, but I like Fury a lot. Fury's the best. Um, anyway, orange accents again on the lift kit. We got, but this time we did the outside of the, we normally the part, the accent pieces go on the inside of the lift. We did the outside this time, kind of like J4 truck. So instead of the accent pieces being on the inside, they're on the outside. Got the orange McGoy's logos on the front. You gonna kiss it or not? No, I ain't kissing this one. I ain't, I'm oh. getting old. I've been caught, I've been sick for the last couple of days and I've been coughing so bad my back hurts, man. I'm getting old, bro. I'm getting old. I'm 26, I'm over halfway to 30. It's getting rough out here, man. My voice is getting a little cracky. My back hurts. I'm coughing. It's rough out here. I got some gray hair now. It hadn't been recorded this whole time. Really? No, it has. Uh, I was going to say. Hey, if you have to go back and re-film stuff, the vibe ain't the same. It really isn't. I hate having to do that. We have the orange accent pieces on the upper control arms, and then we did the out the outer accent pieces or accent pieces on the outside, however you want to say it, on the front compression struts as well. We will upgrade to the rear traction bars at some point, I'm sure. And then like I said, he's got some more stuff that he's doing to it. One of the coolest things about this truck 
There's only two trucks that we've ever done this with and only a couple that I've ever seen in the first place to do this. He's got the spare tire bracket in the back and it actually, oh, it don't spin yet? Ah, I thought it spun. Not yet, dang. Rejected. Exposed. I thought it spun. Eventually we're gonna put a bearing in it. The last truck that he had, it spun. And there was a video of Leonard spinning it in the back on Instagram that got a bunch of views. So eventually this will spin in the bed at some point while I'm spitting all over the back. Jimmy, what's this beer can back here, buddy? It's nice to have you back, Jimmy. That's all I'm saying. We love nice you. Nice to be back. We love we'll you, Jimmy. Yeah, we love you. Did you get your new belt yet? What you got behind the grill? Is this, yeah, yeah. Is this, belt. is this the new belt that came with the lift kit? Of course. All of our lift kits come with either a brown or black belt because the lady's going to be ripping your pants off. I only got one lady, so I'll, I'll, I'll I'm, do that. Jimmy, I'm happy for you. Hold it down, brother. Yeah. Out here for the taking, guys. Hold it down. What do you mean, brother? What do you mean, brother? Finished up our 2023 Yukon Denali today with a six inch rough country, 24 by 12s and 35s. Or 315 50s, yeah, like a 35. What? Says it on that, normally says it on the side of the tire. Ooh, 36, 36, 1250. Really impressed with the way that this turned out. I've seen a lot of pictures of these done, and I am normally not a fan because they just don't look proportionally sized right. But this one looks absolutely phenomenal. It almost feels like it's sitting at about seven or eight. It is a little bit taller than I expected, especially in the rear. But did a little bit of trim in front and rear. I did film a little bit of that. Again, I really do think they need to put this front end on the Denali 1500s. I think that would look 10 times better, give it a little more of a show truck just kind of luxury look did some trimming in the back did have to get into a little bit of metal as you can see and then a little bit of the bumper up here just barely with the plastic trimmed in the front other than that no rub no scrub full lock full turn all the time six inch rough country 24 by 12s 35s on the diesel too and i know i know that you guys are going to have questions and i'm not telling my secrets no lights on on the dash no issues absolutely absolutely beautiful a little bit of a little bit of poke over there nothing too crazy but i'll give you guys a little front look here a side look i think it's freaking beautiful the white and black looks really good i really like the tis 547 all black it is one of my favorite tis wheels the all black with just the chrome logo in the center is really nice i know that we had to do a little bit of modification to make the amp steps work i'm pretty sure other than that in and out two or three days first one that we've done here at the shop and i think it turned out pretty good so if you guys are seeing this let me know and we can build you one too i really want to put a mcgoy's kit on the front of one of these so i need one of y'all to step up and let's put a mcgoy's kit on the front and a rough country in the back it'll sit at about nine in the front three in the back because rough country is the only one that makes a lift kit for the rear but I'd really love to put a McGoy's kit or an FTS kit on one of these. So I can see that back back there, cross members. The thing looks really good. Let me know in the comments what you think.